Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. It's the 7th of June, 2018. And I'm going to get right to the stories. We're going to talk about uh, the update uh, on the SBI Ripple uh, trading site because I need to explain uh, what's happening there. Second thing I want to look at, I got a question about um, virtual currency applications, and it really is a good uh, lead-in story to what the SBI group is going to use, and I think you'll find it quite interesting. And then we'll take a look at the virtual currency exchange trends, because, you know, as you know, yesterday it was announced that Coinbase is coming here to Japan, and even though it's being headed by a Japanese gentleman, uh, they still will be treated by the FSA, which is the Financial Service Agency of Japan, which falls under the Ministry of Finance, they will still be uh, having to jump through the hoops as a virtual um, currency licensed foreign entity. And they have a separate uh, type of um, uh, qualifications that they have to meet. Okay, let's just get to it. I don't know um, if you know, but this is a, quite a process for people to start trading on the SB, SBI site. So as you know, the, there are 20,000 users in the beta uh, testing phase. And let me just explain to you, um, as of the first, this is the process in which they are currently experiencing. So they've completed an application before, they were pre-approved, and now starting uh, on the first, postcards are being sent out sequentially which means that they are not sending them all out at the same time, uh, to the address to verify through um, registered mail. And then once that process happens, they, the customer or the potential um, trader has to respond with some documentation, one of which, uh, and it needs to be mailed separately, again, uh, which is... Um, confirmation of ident identity, so know your customer. They have to include their driver's license, their passport, their personal number, which is like a, in, in America we have a social security number, in Japan they have what's called like a my number. Uh, then they also have to include their health insurance card. Yeah, so what, four different things. Uh, and if they, they state here, if you have changed your address, um, we're sorry, but you will have not um, received their postcard and you cannot complete the process because um, they're just not, I guess, updating change of addresses. All right, so, you know, we're talking about the first. Today's the seventh. Uh, can that process be done in seven days? Maybe. But, you know, life is busy, and uh, I don't think you're going to really start to see the majority of people trading for a few more days. So I, I, I just don't think that is um, going to be realistic to say that all 20,000 people are trading already. They're not, obviously. And we don't even know for sure how many of those 20,000 postcards have even been sent. And then they have to, and they're using snail mail for everything that they're doing. So that's just the way that is. Okay. Next, I want to take you to an article. And yes, it is a little older. It's not that old, so don't um, give me any like, that's an old article. Uh, it's important to look at old articles. I'm not saying, I mean, this is just April 27, 2018. Uh, there's articles that, you know, we get bombarded with so much information that uh, sometimes we need to go back and review. And this particular article, I think, possibly was not... Uh, translated in full. This is the Business Insider, but this is the Bis Business Insider Japan. So maybe it was not transferred, uh, translated in full. And there are some really key points to this. This is when Kitao-san addressed uh, in a public statement uh, on the uh, 
on the subject of the virtual currency exchange that he was going to launch. And I want to point out some very important parts in this translation. So the first thing I want to point out to you uh, is down in this. So, okay, so it's down in this particular section here. And what he says is that, um, now this is Katow speaking, so this this is, um, yeah, this is, he, he says that Bitcoins are 83 to 84% mined. And he thinks that Bitcoin, which is BTC he's talking about right here, is a little tiring to settle. And I think what he means by that is that it has um, a little bit of, of uh, slowness in comparison to Ripple. And also he says that it is, um, the price is too high. So he goes on to say, I think that Bitcoin Cash, yeah, so I'm going to show you exactly where he says it here. So bum, 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 bum. I want to show you exactly what part. Okay, so this is the part I'm actually reading. Bitcoin Cash wa kesai tsuka. Kesai means settlement. So kesai tsuka is settlement currency or closure currency. It's something like you would be you would do for a balance owed for example if you owned some property and you still owned uh, you still had to pay off a remaining balance he believes that the bitcoin cash bch is good as a sekai i'm sorry kesai ska and to shite ripple which is ripple ripple wa sokin ska he thinks that Ripple is a good sending money. So soaking is money used to send. To shite ikeru to omo. So this is what he thinks. So he thinks there's the Bitcoin cash to be perfectly used in settlement uh, or closure currencies and then Ripple works good for him, like sending A to B. Uh, and then at the end, he says, this is important. Tokume ska wa isai yaranai to hanishite iru. Sorry, I'm really slow at reading Japanese. I will not do anonymous currency. So as of now, we can see that um, Kitasan doesn't want to add any of the anonymity coins. Uh, not surprising because the FSA has pretty much come down and put pressure on everybody who is licensed <clears throat> to delist those coins. All right. Uh, I think those were important, even though that article is a little bit old. Now, in this top section, right here, so right here. There's one more thing I want to bring to your attention because I got a lot of uh, questions yesterday about virtual currency applications. So if I take a look at, uh, if we take a look at, I think it's actually, uh, yeah, this section right here. Okay, this one's important. So. Here, he talks about the Morning Star application. Grupu uh, nai no Morning Star ga kaso ska karen no joho o haishin suru smartphone apri. So there is a smartphone application called Morning Star. And he is pointing out that this is going to be uh, an available technology for people who are using the virtual currency trading site. Morningstar. This is uh, an article about um, Morningstar, and it shows you their uh, 
user interface for at least laptop. The Nikkei, I think the Nikkei is important for you to know if you're following Japanese news. They are the most reliable business financial news source in Japan. They also own the Financial Times, which is the paper you can sometimes see in pink. And they uh, are um, quality. Not a lot of fake news coming out of here. In fact, when Binance uh, was given a warning from the FSA and the Nikkei actually leaked the story a day before, and then I know um, CV was saying, oh, no, 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 we're fine in Japan. We're fine. Uh, there's no problem. Uh, but then the next day he announced, ah, no, we're, we're going to Malta. So when I saw that story and it had been broke by the um, Nikkei, I said to myself, ah, the Nikkei isn't irresponsible and they take great care in what they print. And so I believed that the Nikkei had some deep throat and they really did get firsthand information. And sure enough, within 24 hours, we found out that was right. Um, in those days, news was really rocking the price of the cryptocurrency um, action. Not so much anymore. You know, we have a lot of news every day and uh, um, but, you know, nine, six, nine months ago, any type of news would have a direct impact and either bump the price up or or crush the price down. And I just remember when the Binance story broke, it did have an effect on the market prices. But now it seems like almost uh, anything can come out of the news and uh, it, it doesn't bump up or down. Right. I can see out of the corner of my eye on the uh, Poloniex website that Bitcoin is currently trading at 7706. So we're trying. We're having a green day. We're trying. All right. So. When we take a look at the actual um, user, oh, this is, okay, so this is not the user interface. This is the user interface of Morningstar. And you can see here, I've got the SBI Holdings site up. This chart is quite long. This is a 2008 to 2000, uh, or to year to date at a glance. And they are really uh, back up having some good trading days. Uh, it's, it's quite comprehensive. It's really comprehensive, actually. Um, operating performance, valuation, financials. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just amazing what people have these days at their fingertips. Just small traders, small people who are trading from home or trading from their um, smartphone. It's amazing the information we have now. That was never the case. So Morningstar Japan engages in providing financial information services. It operates through a financial service and asset management segments. The financial service segment provides consulting, data solution, and media solution services. Uh, you want to know that they are 48.1% owned by SBI Holdings. And even down here at the bottom, you'll find that uh, Kitao Yoshitaka has 0.2%. So this is going to be a really convenient application for people using the SBI vc.co.jp site. This is crazy. All the all the um, news I've been reading about this new site in English, everybody's calling it the VC trade. It's okay if that's what they want to call it, but I'm from the dot-com era and we were always so careful to always have our URL match our name or our, of how people call us. I mean, you wouldn't say, hey, go shop on Amazon and then have the URL be uh, kinkycarrots.com. I mean, you know, it's, 
it's just interesting. But in this case, um, it's being called VC trade out in the uh, English media world. And the URL is actually SBIVC. And that .co.jp is uh, the official um, URLs for companies that are firmly established. Okay, why did I put these here? Because I want you to be able to do what I do. I want you to be able to search for Japanese news in Japanese. Because if you put VC trade, you're not going to get any Japanese news. You're going to get all Western news. So VC trade do is what you want to search on. I'm going to put this down in the comment section and then try it. I think you're going to find, wow, I found some information that nobody's talking about. And then if you want to search on Ripple, Ripple, Ripple. So I don't know if you know, but Japanese, when they talk about a, a foreign or when they take in a foreign word, they don't ever just end on a consonant. They always end in an adjective like um, change, besto, uh, trade, cardo. Yeah. So I think if you keep following me by the end of it, you're going to know a little Japanese. Okay. So I want to share with you a comment I got. I got this today and it says, uh, women don't understand crypto. Lots of laugh, LOL. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. I'm going to show you your world is very small. And uh, I did, though, want to highlight a comment that I got that I just love. After I posted um, a video, I got the, uh, the queen has spoken. <laughs> Thank you. I told them I, I always wanted to be a queen. Now, where is my tiara? Okay. I want to show this guy who said that women don't understand crypto. Let me just expand your world a little bit. I'm going to take you to a BBC article that tells you in Japan, 74% of the Japanese household budgets are controlled by women. So there, actually, this is quite serious uh, to be able to explain to you. It has a huge, actually, um, tie, it has a tie into my next story, which is uh, about the trends and where the virtual currency exchanges are going. Women really do have control of the money and they give their husbands uh, an, an allowance and they are in charge of all the expenditures. 73% of the households. I, I, I think within, if you take the from young to old, maybe it's trending a little lower because young people are not getting married and staying single for much longer. So this is a couple years old, this, uh, this percentage. Uh, it's from 2012. And I don't think within married households, it doesn't matter if you have kids or not, the women still control the money. But I think the biggest change from 2012 to now is that people are not getting married. They're just not. They're, more and more women are choosing to stay single. Yeah. So I think that that for sure is probably moved the percentage down a little bit, but it's not because they are sharing the responsibility. It's just that there are fewer and fewer married households. Okay, so I will put this article as my proof down in the comment section. Um, but it leads me into the last article, which is actually where I believe the cryptocurrency virtual exchanges are trending. So this article here, which I won't go over the whole thing, but it talks about the Japanese Crypto Center launches investment courses for seniors. So in Japan, seniors and middle-aged adults are increasingly interested in investing cryptocurrencies. The Japanese Cryptocurrency Support Center has launched an intensive course for seniors to help them learn and invest in cryptocurrencies. Now, everybody asks me about price targets. 
I think the bigger question is we should be looking at how are we going to increase the volume because the market cap needs to be increased. And in order to increase the market cap, we need to have new buyers. And those buyers are going to come in the form of many different segments and demographics. You know, right now we've got the 20 and 30 male single demographic out there worldwide, actually. Uh, but if we are going to successfully grow the cryptocurrency space, we need to tap into the markets that are not currently trading. So I want to just tell you, this doesn't surprise me at all. Um, this particular society, check this out. This is, um, ah, I got a very nice comment. Some of you are so kind out there. Um, this is called a coffin shape. This is a, this is a coffin shape of the United States. It's not too wide. So you can see here that it shows that the majority of, let me see if I can increase this just a little bit here. The majority of age is right out here in the 50 to 54 or up to 64 range right in here. It's very wide and you can see that it narrows down as the population gets older. This is interesting. This is Nigeria. Check this out. Very, very young. Um, they don't have any problem at all with their particular population. But Japan, unfortunately, is an aging society. And you can see here that the majority of people are aged 60 to 64. And we have there's such a, lo a long life expect expectancy here in Japan that it is still very wide even in the 80s and not you know 85 to 90. So this is what they call a coffin shaped um, chart, population chart. And uh, there's a huge market here, huge market in this area here to bring new money into cryptocurrency. And the last thing I wanted to just tell you about trends, I just wrote a few notes here. There's 16 licensed, uh, 17 now actually, licensed by the FSA in uh, virtual currency exchanges in Japan. But CoinCheck and GMO and DMM are three that will absolutely hoop, jump through the hoops uh, successfully and they will soon be licensed. And they are doing a lending programs that will allow you to you know, they, you give them your um, particular coins that are, that have been highlighted for a period of time and you'll receive a guaranteed percentage back. It's like very similar to a certificate of deposit and the percentage back might only be 5%, but remember we're at a zero uh, interest in Japan and people don't get just not even peanuts on their deposits in the bank. So to get a, a guaranteed 5%, especially for a conservative older Japanese person, I think it's going to be a very uh, successful program for them. Yahoo Japan announced they're coming into the space. They are the go-to news site in Japan. So it's not crazy, but uh, it, it, it is what it is in Japan. They use the Google algorithms for search. And uh, they're going to be very successful because they have a huge audience. Money Forward, which is a budgeting app used by households. So they have 5.5 million customers right now, and their customers are mostly women. So this, they are going to enter into the virtual currency uh, exchange world. That is one of the ways uh, they can migrate women into this space. Then we have Yamane Medical Corporation. This company operates senior care centers for elderly people. So absolutely, they're coming into the virtual currency exchange space. Absolutely, they're gonna migrate all those senior citizens into virtual currency. AVEX, AVEX is one of the, I don't wanna say controversial, 
fastest moving talent agencies for music artists in Japan. Check out, check them out though. It, they do have a kind of a colorful background in history. Um, they are the ones that, that have all the management for the kind of edgy J-pop. So that crowd who um, are really into the AVEX talents and singers, they're in their early 20s. So we've got this demographic that doesn't know about virtual currency or feels a little unsure, but I'm positive AVEX is going to migrate that crowd into cryptocurrency. So I think you're going to see not only lots of services to gain customer loyalty and competition, but I think you're going to see these virtual currency exchange platforms in Japan go into niche markets. My prediction. That's what I think. All right, everybody. That's all for now. I did it in one swoop. No retakes. Take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.